Hi guys! So today I've got something a little bit exciting for you. It's not going to be very long, but the Bell Castle ornament just arrived. I ordered it yesterday and I am so excited to open it with you guys. So here it is. So I paid for the next day delivery because I just couldn't wait to finally have the final piece of the collection in my hands. And so I am going to be opening it right here with you guys so here is the box and i love how they have you know like the little quote this one is we keep moving forward opening new doors and doing new things because we are curious and curiosity keeps leading us down a new path by Walt Disney okay so first a look Ooh, that's a new color so i don't know if you remember but like the previous boxes they've been in shades of blue teals aqua purple and pink but and there's even like a red one a border red one from Milan. but here is a yellow one for belle like her ball dress and look at this it is beautiful i love that they have kept the castle like a snow the snowy castle like the beast uh, when they are cursed, they are meant to be cursed in winter and that was a little bit more elaborated in the live action movie so I love that they have kept that I saw that the full size ornament which lights up like I thought it was like, quite beautiful the way they had organized it uh, and but the light with the snow it was like a really beautiful piece but again because I've only been collecting the ornaments I didn't want to the small ornaments i didn't want to buy the full size figurine like i said i think i said it's like if i had been buying one it would have been the the little mermaid one which i didn't okay so you open it and here you have the stairs you know the famous stairs from the entrance of the castle it's drawn and here is the ornament nicely protected so i'm going to open it so we can all have a first look together and then it will go back up upstairs with all of the other ones oh look at that i just noticed this on the box it says bell's 30th because i don't know if you know but um beauty and the beast is turning 30. and so there's been quite a few little things that have been issued to celebrate that anniversary and so they probably kept it so long just for that but it's lovely that there's this little hint in the entire collection for it okay so now oh my goodness i think that maybe we waited so long for this one because they put so much more effort in it honestly remember i have said the little mermaid one is the one that i love from my heart but so far um some of the other ones I thought were much more detailed like the Arendelle one and I think that even though Beauty and the Beast the entrance of the movie is like the most phenomenal the most touching I don't know it's like it always gets me the music the the colors the entire scenery it's absolutely beautiful I'm not a big Beauty and the Beast fan story but the entrance the, the beginning the first introduction scene of that movie is gorgeous wonderful beautiful it just gets you anyway that castle completely goes with this it does get you the first look at it oh my god it is gorgeous look at it look at this i don't know if you can see properly like the entire level of detailing in the little windows i don't know what the full size ornament looks like but i i expect it to be just as breathtaking so there's like all the little detailing, all the brickwork and everything. And there's the snow with all the glitter. I can like, can you see how it sparkles? It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous and breathtaking. So you can see the back. If you've seen the other movies, you know, like when they go out in the garden to play, you can see all this. Look at it. And I love the dark red, just like the rose's petal for the ribbon. Making sure that the camera can focus properly on this so you can see because really it deserves all the detailing 
So if you have purchased the fur size ornament, please comment with a link to your video in my comments so I can go and see it because I would love to have a look as well. So look at this, look at all the details. I can't blur gargoyle on. If you can see properly, maybe if I focus a little bit further, you can see like the little gargoyle. I'll take a few pictures and put them on my Instagram so you can have a proper look. Uh, maybe crack out the macro lens for it. Oh my goodness. No, like I am so, so pleased. I was a little bit worried if I would get the last one or not. And I did. I got up at like an hour early and I put my alarms at 7.45, 7.57 to make sure I was logged in on time and I got it at 8 a.m. yesterday. Oh my god, I love it! So now my next challenge is going to be, um, I'm currently reorganizing our entire house. I haven't been uh, filming that much. Anyway, I've got five kids so I'm quite busy. And so at the moment, my next challenge is going to be where am I going to put the castle collection because I need to find a spot where I can actually enjoy it. I, I know everybody collects in a different way, like some people have uh, those IKEA Kallax full of all of the, the items from their collection and like it's beautiful, you know, like it's really nice but I, I don't know, it's like it doesn't really work for me because I can't collect that many, many items in this way it's like for me it doesn't really work but that's just for me like I like it when other people do it but I can't do that for myself and also I have five little kids and they would never stand for that they would go over everything and uh, it would turn into a giant mess so what I have been doing is that when I have pieces that I collect I make sure that I can use them as house decor because somehow my children don't understand if I collect things they can't understand like a very static collection but they do understand when things look nice and when things are organized and if it looks like it's there that its purpose is to be there that it is part of the decoration they don't go after it and so that's what i've been doing with all my things it's been when i have like all of the items of decoration i see how can i make them fit so they look like uh, they were always meant to be there and like it's nice i can enjoy them more like that way as well because you know like they are in a proper display just for them and you, it's like like i said like they were always meant to be there so this is what i need to create now for my castle collection i need to create a space for it in our home so it looks like it was always meant to be there <laughs> so this is going to be my next challenge I need to decide on a room, whether I'm going to keep them upstairs in our bedroom, which is where I have them at the moment, or I am thinking of maybe creating that space downstairs in the this living room. We have like a playroom, which is more like a family room with a TV and all. And this room, which is where I spend most of my time with my youngest baby. This is where I nurse her. This is where she has her nap. So we even have a little crib there for her. And at night, sometimes this is where we have our last snuggles before bedtime together. And that's very like that's a very nice, special, quiet room. Everything I've designed in this room, like the colors I've picked, it's all so we can enjoy it. And so, anyway, yeah. So there's a theme to it a little bit that has been growing with this castle here, and there's another castle over there. Anyway, like in paintings. And there's a lot of few Disney elements in this room. So maybe, because there's already some castles, maybe this is where I'm going to be putting the castle collection. So I'm going to look into that. And when I have decided and made a plan, I will be sharing this with you and you'll get to have a little gloss over the entire collection again, I think. In the meantime, if you want to see the other castles, there's another video on my channel, A Couple of Scrolls Down where you can see um, the rest of the collection and when I have the time later on I'll make maybe another do-over or once I've put them up of the entire castle ornament collection but one last time because it's so pretty and then I'm gonna go get my tiny tiny little woman and put her down for a nap okay so this was the bell castle the final final piece 
from the Disney Castle collection. If you are interested in it, I think at the moment it is still available on the Shop Disney website. And if this specific one isn't, there is also still uh, the pen and I think the notebook and the puzzle that are available. And they are beautiful. If I remember well, the notebook comes with a full size poster inside that you can display. So it's quite gorgeous. So there we go. That was it. Now, I know we have all heard about what is going on in Ukraine at the moment. So in the comments and probably at the end of this video now, I'm going to be sharing some artwork that you can purchase on Etsy from some Ukrainian uh, sellers if you're interested. This is all artwork that I have purchased myself and that I find absolutely gorgeous that I have um, plans for printing and putting around the house. So it's just in case you're wanting to do something or you're looking into something, you can buy this and it goes directly to the, the Ukrainian sellers who will be probably very grateful for it. So just a little something. I hope you all have a magical day and I'm sending all my love to you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment if you want to say anything about this castle. Let me know if you've collected the, collect the castle collection, which one is your favorite. And um, please subscribe and save to the channel if you want to see more magical videos. Love to you all. Bye.